we've now more or less completed our map. Let's get it into a format now that we can pass around to other people. The easiest way to do this is click on the File menu and then click on Save As. Instead of saving it as a campaign cartographer drawing, we're going to save it as a JPEG bitmap file. Give it a name, Parrot Death Island, GM, Map, and click on the Options button here, which will let us decide how big we want our map to be output. In this case, I'm going to output it not quite at that resolution, say at 600 whoops, by 400. I'm going to click on OK and Save. If I now browse to my mapping directory, I can see my island here, all outputted and ready to go. There's one more thing that we can do with sheets. Let's create a player handout map using the same basic information. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to our Sheets and Effects option and up until now we've only ever been working with selected sheets. I'm going to select Whole Drawing. You can see with the Whole Drawing there's a range of effects which can be applied here. I'm going to delete those ones because I don't really want them. I'm going to add an RGB matrix. This basically means it affects colours. I'm going to select the predefined sepia option and click on OK and then click on OK. Suddenly our map now is entirely sepia as if it was printed on old paper. However, we don't want all of these political symbols being displayed here. Because these have all been placed on the same layer, which is the border and politics layer, we can magically turn that off. I'm going to click here I'm going to select any other layer, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click on this button here, which puts a little H on the border of politics. That effectively means hide everything which is being placed on that layer. When the map redraws now, you'll see that those have gone from our map. To output this map, you now simply click on Save As. We'll make it a JPEG, and we will call it Parrot Death Island Player, Player Map, and save.